Here's a quick video on how to use ClassTools.net Arcade Game Generator. I'm just going to type in ClassTools.net. Again, at the top, it is ClassTools.net. There are various tools on here. We may add more later tutorials for you, but we're just going to go to Arcade Game Generator. We're going to load it. We're going to type in our title. Okay, to make things easier, I simply copy, and I'm going to copy this and paste that. Now, you do have to have 10 terms up here. Now, if he tells you what to do right here to list your questions and answers on here. It gives you a sample layout. Mine's already in here. It's, it is easy to do. So, let's create my games. I do need a password. I'm not going to give you my password. I'm just going to make one up. Okay. And my quiz has been saved. The important thing here is to make sure you save your URL. So you're going to come up here. That is the thing at the top, your HTTP address. So you come up here. I want to enter it. I'm going to enter it in my OneNote online. You can enter on your Google site, other sites that you have. So I'm just going to put in a quick link. I'm going to type in... And then I'm going to paste my URL there. I'm going to click insert and it is there. So I'm going to click on it to make sure it works. And it is popping up right here. And I'm just going to simply click on word shoot because it is the easiest one to use. Well, it is for me. You do have some ads here, but don't worry about those. It comes with having a free program. So as soon as it loads, we can see how it looks. And we can simply, when it is prepared, we can push the start key. Now your definitions will appear here, the time left, and the ammo. It is usually easy. It gets more difficult as you go along. The first level, of course, is easy. So a child who has no parents or whose parents are unable to care for him or her. So we'll simply click on the correct answer. <laughs> now. It, it can be loud, so if you do it in class, you want to be sure your speakers are down on the computers. All right, so we'll, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward to the next level. So we are proceeding to the next level. We've played level one, and we're going to start again, and you notice how it moves right here. It starts getting a little bit more challenging for them. So it, it can it can be fun for the, some of the students, but it is up to you on if you want to use this, of course. Okay, we're going to go on to this next level. This is level three. Now the backgrounds do change on this one. It depends what game you want to do, but I'm just going to click through this real quick and show you. That does give you a final score. If you sign up for a premium account, it will keep the scores for you, but I don't see. This is just a review and definitely not a, a type of summative activity, but it is simply a review for them to do at home, can make your class a little bit more interesting or fun. So if you have any questions, come see me in B102. I'll be glad to help you.